am going to show you three difficulties of Lee Sin combo. Starting from beginner, intermediate, until Chinese. And I must pull these combos off in real matches at least once each. Not only that, as you might have seen, I'll do an edit of a different style for each combo. Furthermore, I only have 10 games to complete all three of these combos or else I have to buy uh, this Gragas skin. That's right, Gragas Esquire. I mean, look at it. Let's get started. I want to give massive thanks and credit to Humti for the inspiration for this video. You can see the effort and attention to detail in his videos. I recommend you check him out. I think most of you should know this one. The Insect. Named after the man who invented it, Lee Sin's most famous combo and a staple for any Lee initiate to learn. Very simple, the combo relies on the fact that Lee Sin R can be redirected with Flash, allowing you to kick the VIP back into your team. You can also Warhop kick instead of kick flashing, but it's less reliable as it doesn't root the person during the combo. Combined with QQ to gap close and you've got yourself a get out insect. I didn't need to do any training on this one as I'm actually a Lee Sin main, so I've done this combo a couple times before. With a combo this easy, I should get it first try. Well, my kick killed her. I probably should have kicked the vein. Whatever, I'll get more chances, right? Oh. Oh. Okay, wow, well, I really thought I would have hit a good insect by game one, but it's still game two, and after a bit of jungling, this happened. I did it! We got Jin's bounty, a pretty good kick, I would say. Only problem is, I forgot to download the replay and an update hit the next day. Meaning, no edit. Yeah, so I played another. And against another Jin, I hit a pretty good one. Huge! Hey, first combo down. Easy, right? Just wait till I get to the last combo. This is nothing compared to that. They call this one the Chinese insect. Yeah, I know. It's only a second combo, but don't worry. There's a more Chinese one coming. I'll split the combo into two so it's easier to understand. First half is for Q. Okay. Second half is this. I call this a Chinese hop. It's a flash buffered ward hop. Basically, you're placing the ward out of your W range, flashing into range, and then pressing W in this order and speed. Ward flash hop. Ward flash hop. Setting your keybinds to quick cast without indicator is pertinent as this combo requires speed. Finally, there's many ways to apply this combo, not just as an insect, like over walls or to one shot VIP. This is one of my favorite combos and I've done it a couple times before. So I just did some training to brush up and game four it was. Well, this game has started out very crazy. But I don't mind starting with two kills. Let's just say this game wasn't going well. And while I eventually found an opportunity to do the combo. Yes, I did it! It was not worth! Yeah, it was terrible. Don't gaslight yourself. Flash came back up and I saw a glimpse of hope. An opportunity. So I grasped it. Okay, that's a pretty good one. She even had a bounty and as if on cue, my last teammate hit yes right after the combo. Incredible. Two combos down and I still have six games left. I thought. This'll be easy. I thought. Oh, how wrong I was. Before we get to that, 
What is the last combo? The Chinese combo. Funnily enough, I got this combo from a Korean League edits channel called Z Angel. I mean, just look at this combo and the edit. I recommend you check him out too. The combo becomes Chinese because I'm a Chinese man doing it. Anyways, this combo can be split into two again. First, Q Warthog. Fast like this. First part. Second part, Prowler's Claw Flash. Yes, if you didn't know, you can flash right after using Prowler's to get an extended dash. Looks really cool. Finally, Kick and Kill 2. Not too bad, right? Well, although the parts may seem simple, putting it all together and doing all the inputs at the right timing and order was exceedingly difficult. Not only that, if I miss the initial Q, then the rest of the combo fails too. Also, for its difficulty, the combo is not practical at all, but none can deny it just looks cool as shit, man. And after hours of training, I could kinda hit it consistently. What followed was as if the world itself didn't want me to hit this combo. And more importantly, wanted me to buy that goddamn Gragas skin. On top of me just failing the combo, in game 5, I got 4-man ganked repeatedly. I'm talking about flash hooked. I'm dead. I I uh, I got four man. Oi, 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 oi. Oh, I knocked the last flash for me. One of the worst thunderstorms I've ever experienced occurred during game six, causing my power to go out and disconnect me three times. Game 7 was a remake, which I still counted. Mm. Game 8, I did this. And this. Yeah, matches flew by until game 9. Only two chances left. It was either I hit it in these last two or never at all. I was playing with my friends, so I had them watching too. This time, I decided to return to the jungle instead of mid, hoping I'd do better. And I didn't do better. I did well. Really well. Uh, I need to wait for skills to turn around. Wait, wait, just wait for my Q cooldown. Oh. And while my friends might say I was hogging all the kills, ridiculous. Oh no! <laughs> These kills gave me the confidence in my ability so that 30 minutes and 55 seconds into the game, I hit it. Go watch this video if you like this one. Trust me, 